welcome to my stream. It's another um, Wednesday streaming session. I skipped last week because as we all know, last week has been quite stressful. <laughs> so I thought I'd come back in with a new overlay and you know, try something new this time. All right, so today we're going to be doing a few things. I have my little checklist here on the top right corner using my, sorry, my trip book right here from Kokuyo. And so I'm going to be swatching some haul from Dodolulu, from Wing, from Happy Daya, and then finally put together my creative journaling spread which um, I needed to update because I've already had two meetups this month and I haven't put them into my journal yet. Yay! Hey Kate! Exactly, I kind of got all the setup ready for, for the holidays and you know, just wanting to incorporate that early and I'm so ready for the holidays too. <laughs> so let's start with, I think let's do wing first. And I first want to show you guys this haul I had um, from Wing, W W I I N N G G. Um, I bought this from Pink Cody, and actually, there's a few more other stuff too. I have a lot going on this week. Hey, Janice. So, what else do I have from Wing? So, I have these two washi tapes. So, essentially, first of all. Um, these are A6 size notebooks with her design and I just love it so much. It reminds me very much of like Rifle Paper and Co. But it's obviously, you know, designed by her and I love the illustrations. I like the black backgrounds and then these are her more like brighter background ones. So with like cotton flowers these really spring-like ones and they're just really thin notebooks you know um, refills if you will so I'm gonna be using it with my A6 Hobonichi day free um, from the Hobonichi lineup this year because I'm actually starting it as my puppy journal so I have it in the Umikoto book hey Kate thanks for mentioning the fireplace that's exactly the ambience I'm going for and so this this has this is gonna be my puppy journal and you know I plan to do kind of like kawaii journaling style where it's just a lot of fun collages you know, writing about the puppies documenting the trips and they're it's definitely gonna run out really fast because that was just like one single visit and I already have so much photos so I plan to like break into these as like supplements to the a6 setup and let me just kind of open it up so you guys can see what it's like it's just white um, plain paper and I think these are like really high quality art paper and look at the stitching it's so like nice so so definitely just gonna have fun with these once I'm like I run out of those or this could just be like random little notebooks as well they're just so cute let me <laughs> try to carefully put them back in so a lot of these to use for the rest of the year with my puppy journal, but let's get to swatching. So I actually have a notebook um, that I've been using to document my hauls. This is the London Gifties notebooks and I this is like my creative journal. And so I have like pages dedicated to documenting Happy Mail. So this is already one page. This is the page where I, rec I document what item came, what I ordered, what mail I sent out, and then I wanted to like use the others to create fun spreads. So I'll be swatching my wing um, washi tapes on this page. So yeah, I, I really like her design. It, it really reminds me of um, like the strawberry thief pattern which I mentioned in one of the happy hour episodes and so I just kind of want to own this pattern and if I can find like William Morris washi tapes with the actual strawberry thief I probably will hey Sarah so this one is called tender blossoms welcome welcome to the stream this is 
made by Round Top, which is a very good like Japanese washi tape brand. Well, washi tape maker or manufacturer, so you know the quality is always guaranteed with Round Top. So I'm glad she went with that. And so let me just swatch this. Wrap the scissor. Oh my gosh, I have so much going on in this table. And where's my scissors? So thanks for joining the stream. Last week we kind of had a little break because for obvious reasons. Um, but this week I, I definitely set some stuff up to look a little bit different. And in fact, I might be changing the platform to Twitch or YouTube. Um, starting in December so I'll definitely leave some instructions on how to navigate tap that and maybe you guys can see me there um, on my Wednesday fireside chats so this is so pretty oh my god look at that I thought it has more of a white background but no it's actually a little bit of a blush background and the rotation's quite long as well, which is always nice. So what I plan for YouTube is that I'm going to be saving these streams and then upload it to YouTube later. So um, you can comment during the interactive moments of the stream, but definitely these videos will be available later on YouTube. So I'm going to start with today's thing too. So if you can't watch it now, definitely catch me later on YouTube at Penguins Creative um, channel. But I want to try out Twitch for the fun, like interactiveness of the stream. You know how you can use like emotes and like fun little interactions. So that's kind of where I want to explore for this kind of streaming experience. But I definitely plan to save this video afterwards and upload it to YouTube. So this is the dark mode of <laughs> this washi tape, as I like to call it. This I really like the darker background pattern it's called Gorgeous, Gorgeous Beauty. Gorgeous, Gorgeous Beauty. So beautiful. Which one do you guys like more? <laughs> I think I'm kind of um, preferring the dark mode one. The moody, moody days, I guess. This is really pretty. But the colors, like, I wish there's like a little splash of yellow. Then it would be, you know, it would be really even more pretty. And what I like about round top um, washi tapes is really the quality. As you can see, like I can pick it back up and retake, reposition it without really um, tearing off the page underneath because the washi material is really just so much better with these um, round top washi tapes. So a little swatch here, I like the pretty one. I also think the light one is really nice. I might be using more of these for like the Christmas themes. Let's see. Um, next thing I want to swatch is my haul from Dodo Lulu. So let's put this away for now. And we'll bring it back out when we're swatching the, the tapes. I, I shared this in our virtual meetups a while ago. I think it might be in last week's meetup where I shared the Dodo Lulu haul. But Dodo Lulu is an artist in Hong Kong and she also does these like whimsical illustrations of these women and I wanted to share more specifically all the, the fun things and maybe do some stamp swatching. So I'll, I bought a bunch because Pinkoi had a sale um, for their kind of like close to their anniversary or something. Anyway, Dodo Lulu was one of the feature artists. So for example, this is one of the, the girls. This one's called Magic Circle. 
and this one's called Sleeping Beauty. And basically it's a bundle where you can choose like two washi tape, two sticker sheets, um, two postcards, like whichever one you want. And then they kind of assemble it as a bundle for you. So I just want to go over my selections with you guys. So first of all, this is the girl um, that she's kind of known for, like the fat girl <laughs> with a lot of like flowy movements. This is Alice and kind of probably reference to Alice in Wonderland. And it's just so pretty. And I think these washi tape, oh sorry, these stickers are probably washi material because it's really nice. <gasps> oh my god, hugging flamingos! I'm definitely saving these this piece for like a print. This is the other one called Some More Balloons. And so this girl's like hugging and like playing with these red balloons. This one is um, heels. So the girl's in this really pretty green dress that I really want. <laughs> Summery dress with like red hair. Reminds me of um, Anne of Green Gables a little bit. And what are these? Oh, these are just fun like bookmarks that comes with, I think, each of these stickers, I believe. So fun little bookmarks. What else is in this bundle? Okay, I chose this sticker. It's kind of like a rainy day sticker. It's the yellow raincoat. And I thought it's pretty um, appropriate for Seattle and the upcoming rainy season. Hey, Laura. Yeah, these are super pretty. And then I think I have this like really big one. I also chose. These are really giant sticker um, patches. And this one's more of like a, a, a twinsy theme. Where there's always two girls. There's more in this thing, but I don't want to take them all out. And then finally, this is the two cards that I chose. They're both really like summery themed. This is um, this girl who's just doing some stretching on like a a beach towel and I can totally relate to her, to her both in like her relaxedness and her body shape so I just love this illustration so much and this is like by the pool oh and look at the little like word the sentences for it like this one of this girl like really like unabashedly showing off her bikini despite you know her being a little chubby and then the back it says you are perfect just the way you are and then this one, this girl seemingly like is afraid to jump into the pool and this friend was encouraging her, let's get over it, you know, again, together. So I really like the, the kind of design mentality behind each of these products. And let's, let's get to the stamps and, ooh, sorry, the stamps and the washi tapes. Let's start with the washi tape first. So the sun sleeping beauty. And let me check, is this also made my round top? I feel like it is. Let me see. Oh no, this is not from round top, but I'm pretty sure it's like good quality as well. Oh wait, actually it is, but it doesn't have the round top name um, inside the the core so I wasn't recognizing it at first so I actually like to save like both <laughs> the backing if I can when I try to like take apart new washi tapes it's just kind of like a thing I do but yeah oh yeah these stamps are super fun I can't wait to share you guys it's like her new release and I I have her old stamp that's like a girl sitting in the sofa with a cat on her lap and there are actually three different pieces that you can like put together. But this is really cute. Okay, wow, so beautiful. You can definitely tell like a round top washi tape material from the others, you know, despite them all being washi tapes. It's just the quality, it's just so good. Wow, I have to do a little adjusting with this thing. I have to rip her off. It's called Sleeping Beauty, and I think it's just this girl kind of, you know, laying in all kinds of different positions. Let me 
definitely like it. Reminds me of when I want to take a nap, whenever. <laughs> yeah. Do I have it upside down? Maybe this is the right way up. There we go. Okay. Sleeping Beauty. And then this one is um, called Magic Circle. The backing is different too. That's interesting. So I feel like even if they're produced like interesting. Okay, so actually this one was made by Round Top, but this one's made in Taiwan, so it's from a different company. Hmm. Probably from her different like release sis. That's my guess. This one feels like a your tape washi tape. Which is another washi um, manufacturer in Taiwan. So I like this one because the girls just like, you know, playing with these hula hoop sort of things. I'm gonna have to fix that one a little bit. I'm, I'm still not good at washi swatching. <laughs> you know how like some people they can really like accurately gauge how much to swatch? And I'm like, I'm not there yet. <laughs> So here, oh, this. So the 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 design is much bigger than that strip of washi tape, but the materials is just as good. So here's actually the difference in like the width. These are fun. And then let's get to the stamps. And I love how I think these might be made in Taiwan or Hong Kong, but they always like pack or China actually in Taiwan or China but like these they usually the stamps I get from China are packaged like these in like little candy wrappers so I thought that was cute so this is like a girl in like a big coat and this is just a girl like with her hairs like the cloud I actually start thinking about this so let's do some stamping um, of it The coat. Ooh, I bet I'm gonna get a really good stamp. <gasps> That's so nice. See, the great thing I think about um, these bullet journaling books is that they're just really flat, and like the pages are really sturdy, and you almost are guaranteed to get a good stamp if you have like if you're using like the thick part of the book. I'm using a Shachihata ink pad, which also distributes ink quite evenly. So I'm working with two really good tools here. <gasps> so cute. And I'm doing second generation stamping, cleaning in my little notebook here. Hey, Lisa. From Louisiana, nice. So it must be around the afternoon after lunch for you. I hope you're enjoying this little live stream. I'm just going over some of my hauls and sharing them with you guys and I'll be saving this later as well. So here is stamp. And I bet I can like color in this this little using this Carapo pen that has my Robert Oster Fire on Fire ink. Just doing some little fun things. 75 degrees. Wow, that's really nice. I think it's about like 50 something right here now. So it's really cold. Okay, so that's my Dodo Lulu haul. Um, I wanted to share with you guys what's next. Let me see. I wanted to try out um, a series of pens 
from um, my friend Diane, who's also in the group. She sent me some Pilot Juice stuff, and I wanted to test it on black paper that I have. Hey, Bridget. Hi. Oh my God. Now you guys can get together and have journaling parties <laughs> if you're both in the same area. But these are um, Pilot Juice up pens, and she has a lot extra pens, so she decided to give it to me and I'm just kind of inheriting it let no pens left behind you know so I want to give these a try but let me just test them out here I like how like satisfying the click is too so this is the pilot juice up and this is supposedly their new key series in 0 0.4 I have the original pilot juice up not this like sorry the pilot juice the version before this one and i like it a lot let's see if i have any left here no i don't happen to have it right here with me but juice up is like the new and improved version of it although i don't remember how is it improved maybe just the design is like more sleek so i just wanted to test it out here yeah, what's the temperature and the weather like um, wherever you guys are watching from? In Seattle, it's kind of like over, overcast. <laughs> There's that spider that's been bugging me over there on that window for a while now. I, I think we're, we're, we're way past summer and we're not going to see any more sun. The last pen is white, so I don't want to test it on this paper, but I do want to test it on black paper. So introduce you to my other swatch book the Archer and Olive Neapolitan notebook where it comes in like white um, what is this cardboard no uh, craft paper and and black paper so I want to like kind of compare it and here's my swatch for the jelly roll so I'm just gonna do some comparison right next to it. hey Koyun hello welcome to the live stream Welcome, welcome. Kaoyun is um, the owner of Sticky Rice Sister, also a fellow Taiwanese. So <laughs> really happy to have you here. Pilot Juice Up 04. And this is so. I guess I guess Diana is right. She's t she tells me that the Pilot Juice Up still streaks a little bit on black paper, and I do kind of see it here. Like it's not as opaque as the jelly rose i guess maybe just in because of the the sizing as well but i like that i'm doing a little side by side comparison and then i'm gonna hold this up to you guys and let you see <laughs> the streaking so can you kind of tell this is the white from the moonlight and this is the juice up, which kind of streaks a little bit, so you can still see the black underneath. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Kate's in Tacoma, so she probably feels the same temperature as we do up here. I've been hoping that I, I've been wanting to get this whole set, but Diane's like, hold up. Wait for me, let me give some to you to try first before you dedicate, you know, commit to the the whole pack. And I'm glad she did because the, the opaqueness, the milkiness definitely isn't showing up um, on black paper as much as I like it to. I mean, it's still, it's still nice, but I just don't like the streaking, I guess. Can I try all the pens? So here's my little tiny review. <laughs> oh right, you're in Renton. Oh, for some reason I always thought you're in Tacoma, but that's that's kind of not that far away now <laughs> now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's okay. So there's that. So food for thought if you're getting the juice ups to write in black paper might not work as well as you think so what's next happy dia haul yes i wanted to share my 
Happy Daya Hall with you guys. Um, Happy Daya is a Thai illustrator based in Thailand, Bangkok actually, and I've been buying her stickers for for a long time. And I love her little sticker sheets that she prints and makes herself. And you know they're so cute. And actually, let me see if I can just focus a little. Okay, I think this is good. So these are like the fun ones I buy from her. Like for example, for my Happy Mail. This is a rascog that was supposed to be very Halloweeny. <laughs> Some, um, what is this? Fall shopping haul. Fall, but kind of no, kind of more Christmas, cushy grocery stickers, Christmas drink stickers, Christmas theme <laughs> Happy Mail. <laughs> I just love these things. I, I have a lot of Happy Mail, so which is why I always need to get a lot of Happy Mail stickers. Oh, yes, Kate, I need to talk about that. Thank you for reminding me. But like the Traverse Notebook USA just sent out an email this morning too and about like their holiday gift ideas. I thought that was really fun. Um, but this is like a doggy one that I'm getting in anticipation for my, my journey with Cookie. He's a golden doodle, so I thought this was really cute. Laundry, I do that a lot. Bath, I do that a lot too. <laughs> and this is like for like packing stuff. Um, I'm not really selling anything, but this is just fun. Like when I, you know, pack little things for Happy Mail. Grocery, more bath. And this is my favorite. This is her Sea Otter series. And so I got two of the Sea Otter Happy Fairy, which is essentially her characters, but in like really positive forms. <laughs> so I really enjoyed those. Um, let's see. And these are just like the freebies she gave um, for the US purchasers because you have to pay like up to $10-ish 10, $10 -ish for, for shipping now, like guaranteed, like you have to do it rather than their old cheap, no tracking shipping. So to compensate for that, she gives us freebie stickers. So these are really nice ones. So this is her regular sheets. And I bought something fun this time in my order because it was part of a sale. Um, but I decided to try her cousin sticker kits. Basically, the sticker sets that are designed for the Hobonichi cousin layout. But I'm just going to use it sporadically. And oh my god, Kate, you have to check out her like cute... The other theme items because in fact then in this purchase i was able to qualify for a sea otter pin because ah. <laughs> i've ordered so much no i think she gave it to like the first like 50 or like first 100 people who ordered you get like a sea otter pin so this is like the hobonichi cousin add-on you get like these little you know Spaces and this is like my favorite sheet and this is obviously um, Animal Crossing themed and so I really wanted it for my cousin and the the color Story is just so cute. It's very like pastel -y, very cute. And I just love all these and they Knowing that they will fit into my cousin weekly um, Columns just makes me even like happier. So This is the fun kit I got for myself in this haul um, and finally, more freebies. And in fact, I want to, oh, sorry, I cut the top off. I'm going to share the process of me using this sticker. This is like the December monthly calendar sticker into my Hobonichi. And these are just a little bit of the other freebies as well. Lots of holiday themed stuff. So I like this holiday house chores, holiday, oh my gosh, holiday overload. Who's ready for Christmas? I am ready for Christmas. So these are the little things. And yeah, so speaking of Christmas gift, Travis Notebook just sent out an email to many of you guys or me <laughs> to subscribe to their news. Um, but they are releasing the cool a cool like holiday bundle for that you can like pick and choose, like the cover, the insert. And like the, the fabric insert for the, the cover and as an add-on of the books tag that they give out to people if you buy a Traverse Notebook in Japan. So 
I thought it's pretty cool. If you are thinking about, you know, gifting people the Traverse Notebook, that would be a good option. <laughs> and so I want to add the sticker into my December page, like usually this opening page. So I'm just going to add this here. Look at how like thick my book is, has become. It's so hard to write over here like this part anymore so I, I tend to put stickers along this edge in fact let me just make a little you know, page spread right here with this new ring washi tape that I just got you know if for the for the parts where I can't get to I might as well decorate right Okay, you like you, that's my that's my problem exactly. Like I really want the book tag, but I I, I just cannot buy another cover. I have like three um, passport size ones and two three two two standard size um, covers. So unless they are really unique or like the special limited edition ones, I really can't buy another normal one. And all the friends I know already have Trevor's notebook as well. So I can't justify buying it for the book tag. So I might have to try to get them elsewhere, I, I think. Um, there's a lot of, I think, Etsy or like sellers who would help you get exclusive stuff. So maybe that's what I'll have to do cute bordering setting up for December right here and there we go so Colleen asks how much time do I spend journaling each day I don't have like a dedicated like okay this hour is when I journal it's more of like whenever I feel like it so it's like 10 minutes that add up here and there like 10 minutes before I get to work right now like around lunchtime and then maybe in the evening like another like 35 to 40 minute stretch is when I work on my journals so you know each day probably maximum two hours but they, they kind of make up of little pieces of time here and there what's next so I got this thing juice up Okay, last thing. I wanted to share the flip through of my creative journal with you guys that I started in October. Actually, I started mid-October. So it's basically completed and I wanted to share it with you guys before I work on my November pages. And that will be the end of the stream. So remember how I was like turning this sideways and using a Tabineko postcard to set the theme. A quote that I really like, usually from Rupi Kaur. Um, you can follow her on Instagram. And then like Chinese, some Chinese quotes or Chinese intentions. And this is like the monthly calendar, which they are the special events when I record podcasts, when I do meetups. And this is my scary like happy mail haul from last <laughs> month. A lot of things came, a lot of stuff ordered, so I'm just going to like hide that. And and then here is um, sort of like the haul page, like the happy mail haul page. Um, what I did for fun, um, why I bought this thing, why I ordered that. And it actually kind of continued to this spread here. This is also a happy mail spread. So like, for example, stickers from My Sticker Garden stickers from Paper Minty Studio, um, stuff from Sissy Art Cafe, my order from Nico Neko Zakaya. And then this is another Happy Mail spread. So um, paints I bought from Peppercorn Arts, jelly rolls that I tried out um, after seeing them at a art store in Portland, and then the acrylic graph pens. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then, and then here, so that's like kind of, I skipped it next. This is why this month I realized I need to save space for it instead of, you know, adding it on at the end. But 
on the creative side, I have like a creative brainstorm list page for YouTube videos, IGTV, things I want to do. And then starting here is actually the, the logging of our meetups. And oh, thank you for saying that, um, that the meetups is really fun. I'm really happy that I started the podcast and doing the meetups and having fun, just like dedicating some time to doing creative stuff. So it's really fun. So this is like, for example, our first meetup in October, we drew these like strawberry daifuku, like strawberry desserts. So I illustrated some of that down here. And then this is um, the week we painted the castle, the Swan Castle, Neuschwanstein <laughs> Castle. And so I kind of recreated a quick one here. And this page is October 20th, we did the Japanese countryside. So I actually cut out the piece that we painted during the meetup and stuck it here. Um, yeah, Peppercorn Arts watercolor should be really, really nice. And then this is finally the last meetup in October where we painted some cute pastry, like Halloween-y themed um, cupcakes. So credits here, Hana Hana one two three one. if you want to check that out. And this is kind of like my recreated spread, spreads. So this, this has been my... Um, October pages, if you will, from page two to page 12. And then I just started my November one. So here I have the a new postcard for the month. English quote, Chinese, some writings here. The calendar, and then this time instead of writing my own, I cut down a uh, old calendar that I haven't been using. So I wanted to reuse it for November instead of it just sitting in the shelf. Um, this is my happy mail spread it's not gone out of hand yet which is a plus and then this is literally an entire spread of unhappy mail from a friend so I, I made this kind of cute pocket that I can actually stuff her letter in shout out to Jeannie if you're watching this is her letter for me and like a little ephemera and then here is today's happy mail kind of logging I should have put some happy data stuff here, but I'll do that later. And this is my creative list page. So I want I was doing nano remo and I should probably update this. So this is where I lock which days I write. And then I wanted to make some other lists here. So I'm saving that space. And finally, I'm gonna start logging our last two meetups this month. I think um, earlier this November we painted this. Actually, just last Friday, <laughs> we painted this like really nice, like Christmassy winter evening scene. So I wanted to stick that in. So I'm going to do that right now. Using some blue tape. wanted to glue down like completely so I'm just really making sure I get all the edges and then positioning it here I'm just gonna close this yeah make sure it's down tight And then I'll probably um, write down the dates over here. These are like my little reminder sticky films where I like remember have to remind myself what I'm doing for those pages. And this one, let's do it right here at the top. So you might ask, what are these holes up here? This is like the evidence of me trying to put this into a notebook, I'm trying to sew, um, sew this into a notebook, but failed miserably. So I've just been using the pages, um, the loose pages. It's like watercolor practice. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's hard. Okay. So yesterday, we in our meetup, we tried gouache. Um, together and 
I have acrylic gouache and I end up doing a very kind of impressionist style painting. So I really like that. Um, so I'm saving that in here. Let's see. I'll have to get some other materials from upstairs, but maybe And the last item I forgot to try out is this new little stamp that I got from Kino Kuniya. Oof, not very focusing. But essentially it's this little monk Buddha hanging up laundry with a cat like by its feet. So I want to also stamp that too. <laughs> so cute. This goes perfectly into like a monthly spread. All right, so I think that concludes um, all the things I wanted to share in this stream. Um, I'm really happy you guys joined me this morning here in Seattle um, time. It's 1140 now. So join me this morning for some fun unboxing of like little things here and there, some stamping and thanks again and have a good rest of your Wednesday. <laughs>